to the Vortex Club this October. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Let's do that. I need... I need some... So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. I don't remember what I was going to say. I'm really interested in the color choices this game makes. Like, I associate Principal Wells and Nathan with this red that he's wearing. And Victoria, too, actually. What am I doing? Trying to recover from feeling. Join us or die. <laughs> that smell was so insane. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Sounds like Alyssa. Where is she? If I can actually talk to you. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Um. I don't, but. I'm not anti soiree. You seem anti fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Wow. I was just trying to make some social something connections. Bye. Hey, Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh, let. Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Well, that went better than expected. To be honest, I was just gonna do the opposite chat option and walk away. Even better. But that works. I should go and see what I can learn. Trevor surveys his domain. Does anybody believe this shit? I'm going to find out what happened to you, Rachel. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I mean, whatever. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go, otters. <laughs> Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. <laughs> oh my god. Her sports talk is amazing. 
You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever to form a kick-ass band to take over the world. Oh shit. <laughs> the Ramones, the Shins, the Beatles, the Ramones, the White Stripes, the Ramones, the Smiths, the Who, the Ramones, the Style Council, the Ramones, and Lady Cock. <laughs> Oh, is your last name really Hackney? Honey. That's not good for business. Or after 6.35 p.m. on weekdays. It's very specific. Come praise with your peers. So be happy. This is... That's not a good ad for that sort of thing. As someone who... As someone who struggles with depression if I saw that ad. I can't believe this. Okay, um so I'm like an otter. Okay, that's normal. It's being normal. <laughs> the last one. Like new tablet for sale contains Five gigabytes of cat pics. Ha ha ha. Same. I didn't have to read all of that, but I wanted to. I'm feeling it. Also, before I started this recording, I... swallowed an entire... cough drop on accident. So, that's where I'm at today. Hello, David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Mm. Mm. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Hey, don't. Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong. But upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Oh, shit. Wait, did it take back my convo with this dude? Hey, bro. Later. Okay. Excuse me. I know things got... Yes. Even I'm not... You're a comp... If I didn't... What about Kate? You step between us at a... Pr Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this... That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Okay, so there's nothing else in that conversation. Glad I spent that time. Oh my god, this picture. Uh, 
Oh. Haha. <laughs> I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Right. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed for Nathan. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Doesn't Logan... Yeah, okay, that's why she said what she said. All right. Um, wait. Big reading. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stop so you can't so help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand. One second, Warren. I'm being nosy. Think, big brain. Think. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop so you can't help me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. I can't believe this conversation. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, you just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Can I not talk to her? Justin always looks stone. I wouldn't want to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Too much truth in advertising. <laughs> All right, you have some things to explain to me. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? 
The one time I choose not to take a picture. I did take a picture. Always though. take the shot. God damn it. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Wow. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Oh my god. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I'm gonna scream. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. No kidding. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If scream. Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I'm gonna blow a fuse in like two seconds, so being in here is probably appropriate. Hi Warren, entertain me. Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer, perfect <laughs> timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Um. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst <laughs> pun I've ever heard. It's pretty bad. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Um, here's a delayed thought. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Okay, just w one second, Warren. Um, a delayed thought, when Max was talking to Mr. Jefferson. I don't know if anyone else noticed that um, extra guy in the background at the end of the hallway, kind of just standing there like a T-bone. Because this freaked me out, but I was really mad, so I couldn't say anything about it at the time. But now I'm thinking about it, um, so I just wanted to bring that up and hopefully... You will not go back and look at it and also be freaked out. Or you will go back and look at it and laugh at me. Either way, it's great. Okay. Alright, I'm done with words. I give up. Alright, let's fix it, Warren. Blue Warren. Maxwell Silver. Asking me for. I have to add either. Um, what did I do last time? So do. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Mm. Weird science. <laughs> what if? Wait. What if he? Okay. He sounded so disappointed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, what if- Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver. What if I say I don't know? Asking me- Have that either- Oh. Okay. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Aww. Let's do this thing. Oh. 
That was she awesome. Me with science. <laughs> that was so awesome. Wait, I want to see it again. <laughs> she blinded me with science. And nearly knocks him off his chair. That's amazing. Bring me the brain, Igor. Oh my god. You're all nerds. It's so great. I wish I could carry a conversation with any of you, but it's still really great. Brooke, do you like me yet? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? <laughs> Something like that. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can did it. do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. <laughs> the single buy option. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. God, she hates us. All right, um, is there, I feel like there aren't alternatives to this conversation, but. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Um, I'm helping war. Oh, I. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. He should, though. I know. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yes! That was a blast! But. Let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Um, I'm trying to do something here. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver? Asking me for help? Me Have that either a. I actually think you should use a. Okay. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing! I thought Brooke might have been a uh, suggestion I could have given him. <laughs> God, that's awesome! She with science. It's awesome. Sorry. Fish? Fish. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Do it! Or nothing will happen at all. <laughs> oh. Oh, honey. Okay. Da Vinci was a boss. Ah, oh, Pluto. TV is huge. Jesus. Can I not? Oh, can't go back here. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Really? It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Mm -hmm. I already helped him with the experiment. Relax. How is your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. 
but no finger pointing <laughs> Thank in God, Miss Grant. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Mm -hmm. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. We'll talk right now. Funny, I was just... It's too bad you... How's your... <clears throat> it's missing some... More people... Some of us... But people... Jeez, I... I know, Matt. Miss Grant, you know my. Would you have put? Neither. I'm just thinking. Oh, this is. You must know. I certainly. I have to say. What about that? Our climate is moving. Wow. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but. I thought she was gonna give me. Um, more info on that tribe comment that she made. I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. Don't we all? Did I look at everything? Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dina, you are out of I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Sure. Irony. How do I look, Taylor? You look like Hester. Arcadia Bay looks way more majestic here. Can I look at these already? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Hmm. Oh, of course I can't use this laptop. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Chief. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> uh, God. 
Everything is so funny. What the hell is going on over there? Hi, Daniel. Let's talk to you. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. I know. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. that really happen? Are you kidding me? You guys are children. You're children. I really like that top though. This outfit is working. It's good. It's good. I'm not even mad that you're sitting on my desk. What the hell is all this nudging about? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you Ooh. think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. Well, chill. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Tears. Can I, like, wipe my desk off? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. 